<laughs> Hi. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to do a video, um, like a video bio, and just to have it a bit more personal and just to explain to people how I've got to this stage with music and where I've started and what I want to do and just so you can get to know me a little bit, basically. <laughs> I've just noticed that <laughs> there's Ginger Spice and Britney and Scream there. Just sums me up in and a pair of headphones. That That is me. <laughs> um, so basically, I started late in the music game now, like with in regards to releasing stuff and doing live shows and stuff. Um, so when I was younger, I used to be in choir, I used to do all the Estedvods and Ids and used to just compete and just be really obnoxious, just singing and dancing. And I used to do Dance Shaguerian, which is like um, a Welsh dance that we used to do and compete with. Um, I don't, it's obviously not just Welsh, but you know, that's what we used to do. Um, and I just used to do, love doing anything that was entertaining or singing, acting, dancing, and I just wanted to be a pop star. And I think a lot of musicians can relate to this where people are like, you need to do something serious, you need to be a teacher, you need to, you know, you need to go to uni, you need to do a serious job because it's not it's not going to work. And I just kind of got that drummed into me all the time. So I think you listen in the end, don't you? Um, so I kind of, I don't know, I think I probably let that get to me a bit more than I should have. And I've always looked different. I've always been quite feminine and I've always had longer hair. Even when I was younger, it was still longer than other regular boys of my age. And I've just always um, stood out a little bit, which I love now. And I think a lot of people agree that is one of my features now um but yeah and I ventured into other creative things because I kind of lost my confidence because I obviously stood out and then there was I wouldn't say bullying because I don't want to be a victim but I definitely got um some kind of like abuse for, for being gay and the way I looked and stuff in school and you know it wasn't nice but there's a lot of people worse off and I can hold my own. <laughs> um, not in a fighting way, just, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, so then I ended up doing art because I'm I'm good and I enjoy doing creative stuff like drawing and anything that is creative I'm happy with, which is why my day job is makeup artist. But um, so yeah, and then I went, when I got to choose my topics because I was doing drama and stuff in school when I was growing up, I chose like art, I couldn't do music, drama and art, uh, so I just chose that because it was the easiest way to be creative and just kind of hide away because I was performing in my room, <laughs> like I'm doing now in lockdown, with a mic headset, it's probably with my Spice Girls one with a lollipop on, <laughs> and just singing and dancing and re-recording myself on the tape player and doing my mum's head in, and then when my voice broke and I was like 14, 15, everything just changed and it was harder to perform because I couldn't adapt to singing the way that I do now and I just lost my confidence and I didn't get singing lessons I didn't create I didn't carry on with music or anything then I just didn't have the confidence so I just did art and I I did really well in it I excelled in it I got a stars in it and it was just a way for me to kind of pursue creative things in a like a quiet away <laughs> so I wasn't getting loads of attention on me because it just made me feel a bit sick doing drama in front of the whole the whole class and it's mad now because some of my friends that did drama and music are kind of like when they see me on stage flipping my hat and stuff they're like how have you got confidence to do that and like they could do it then so it's quite mad thinking back but um so yeah and then years after that I kind of finished school uh, did a bit of photography did photography in college um, did Art Foundation course, I ended up quitting it, did loads of different things, and I ended up being a manager at McDonald's for like seven years, um, which is so not like me at all. I would never work with food again or McDonald's again. Um, not that there's anything wrong with it, it's fantastic for training, so never judge people that work at McDonald's, it's a really good job in a sense, but just not for me. <laughs> Nothing with food. Um, yes, yeah, so then after that, I ended up doing, I didn't really want this to be so boring, I just wanted to kind of say my life in a little bio <laughs> hoping that you might want to listen I don't know um at least it's here then if you did um yeah and then I ended up doing a few open mics like one day I 
I got home from work and I was just in the kitchen singing and dancing and flipping my hair and playing my backing track and singing. And then I was like, I've just finished work at five and then I've been here for an hour singing in the kitchen. And I was like, why? Like, you know, you just kind of, something hits you. I must have been like in my early twenties and I was just like, what, what am I doing? Like, this is what I love doing. This is the moment I get excited to do when I finish work is run into the kitchen and <laughs> perform for myself. And I was like, just singing for my dog. And I'm just like, why, why have I been doing this for so long? This is what, this is what I'm passionate about. This is what drives me. This is like writing little lyrics here and there, um, making my own artwork for songs that didn't exist, you know, visualizing music videos and performing and just doing Britney covers in my kitchen. And I was like, why am I just doing this like that? And then there was an advert for X Factor that was on TV back in the day when they'd advertise, you know, for the new series. And I was like, I, di I just didn't want to be a cliche on one of them on one of those shows. And I was like, hmm. And I was like, so there's a reason that this has just happened in this like sort of euphoric moment has just kind of happened with like a light bulb switched on. And I was like, if I love th this much and I'm doing it every day for like my life, like, why aren't I pursuing this? Why am I just doing it? Because you just kind of get stuck in a in a rut of paying bills and getting a house and learning to drive and getting a car. And it's just the things that people do, isn't it? And getting married and have kids and get pets. And that's just life, isn't it? Especially in small parts like this in North Wales. But um, I was just like, I need to pursue this. So I thought I'll go. I, I auditioned online and then sent it in. Had um, the producers call me and I got a producer call back. And then I went and auditioned and I remember just thinking like, like I haven't sang in front of every, anybody since I was like 14 and I must have been like, what, 23, 24 then? And I was like, 10 years, I haven't. And I was just like singing in front of like three random people in a room and it, I don't know unless you've done that. It's like a job interview, but rather than getting judged on your knowledge, you're getting judged on your appearance, the way you stand, the way you kind of move your personality, your look, your voice. It's like, it's such a 3D experience that it's so nerve wracking. I sweated from everywhere, from every orifice. And then um, ended up going all the way through. And then basically at the end, because I didn't have enough social media followers, I didn't get picked um, to go onto TV. They picked someone that was a bit more famous than me. Um, and then that was kind of like a bit of like a reality check moment. I was like, wow, I've kind of come so far and like, conquered that and starting to realise what my dream is and what I want to do and my passions. And then I just thought I'd do loads of other things. I thought I need to do my own music. I want to, you know, I want to perform and enjoy doing that element and be a proper artist and come up with all the beats and stuff like I always do because I'm always like doing the beats and stuff. So I ended up getting contacted because I was just applying daily, daily, daily for different auditions, different studios for different like producers just different people to work with and different ways of getting seen and then to cut a really long story short so i don't bore the hell out of you i ended up getting contacted by this um studio in soho in london um and they're not even there anymore but um and i i met my producer there because they contacted me and wanted to work with me and thought i had something and they had a two song deal where you write your own music and the producer helps you and you can up with it and they were really impressed by my songwriting because I I didn't know that that was an element that I wanted to go into you know songwriting but I loved it and it's definitely something that it, I'm going to continue to do um yeah and then it just kind of blew up and I was doing it on my competitions and I've got to the final of my three times and I've actually just recently applied again because I'm in lockdown I can't do anything I can't perform I can't do any competitions live I can't do anything at the moment rather than write music so I thought I may as well compete and maybe get some more performances in and maybe it'll give me a bit of a kick up the bum um yeah so waiting to hear back from different things like that and i've just recently um so obviously after open mic stuff i started to release my own songs got contacted by um judge romesh to go on that and i performed on there did a few music videos got a few tv appearances in um and it's kind of going really well i'm only 18 months into my career professionally but i'm loving every second of it and i'm just praying for that moment hopefully this will be something haunting to look back on and be like right you know this is when i'm praying for it um, but yeah i'm working with different songwriters at the moment and i'm trying to up my game and i'm really excited for the next few steps of my career with music and performing and i just i'm really excited and i 
can't wait to show you what's coming up next. Um, hopefully there'll be a lot more TV performances. Hopefully I'll be able to do my own little live show. Um, I've got a few Pride Festival um, warm-up sort of act that I've been booked for. Um, so I'll be promoting that soon as well. But yeah, there's a lot coming up and I can't talk about a lot of it at the moment. But I have a new song coming out. If you've got to this 10 minutes in, you'll you'll know now. But most people won't get to this part, so they won't even know. Um, but yeah, there's new music coming out and music videos and guest appearances. And it's, it's going to kind of blow up and get even bigger this year. So I'm really excited and I'm just so thankful and grateful for everyone that supports me. Like my friends and family are amazing. They buy each song, they come and meet to each performance. And it's amazing and I'm just so grateful and thankful and long may it rain. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you for listening. Um, I just I just wanted to kind of get out my journey that I've been on and just if anyone was interested basically. So yeah, have a good day.